Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at another set of 3D connections. In this case, there will be two unknown forces involved. The case where we have a roller on a floor with a rough surface, so not a smooth surface, but a rough surface, or a wheel on a rail. Well, notice, first of all, the floor can push back perpendicular, normal to the floor. And so we have an initial force pushing straight up. That's one of the two forces. So we have a force perpendicular like this. So call this force in the y direction. Over here again, we have a force that's perpendicular to the surface or normal to the surface. So we have a force in the y direction. But we have a second force because even though there's no relatively no friction going this direction, assuming that the wheel can free, freely roll, there's a, the friction force on the floor will prevent the wheel from sliding in the positive or negative z direction. Same over here, since the wheel is on a rail and the rail holds the wheel in place, at least in the z direction, again, there can be forces in the z direction, but the wheel is prevented from moving because of the rail there. So we have a second force that acts, and so we can go ahead and indicate the force like that. So I have a force in the z direction. Here again, so we have a force in the z direction. We have what we call a two-force component here on these particular connections. If we draw this on the XYZ coordinate system, you can see that we have a force in the Y direction and we have a second force in the Z direction. So force in the Y direction, force in the Z direction. And again, you can see that on a system like this, there are two forces to contend with. So you know the direction, you just have to find the magnitude of these forces. So there are two unknowns in this case, the magnitude in the Y and the magnitude in the Z direction on this particular set of connections.